Hey, and welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you're here. We're here with a really special anniversary episode here at Heritage of Faith. How are you guys? Good. 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 Not nervous at all. (laughs) Not nervous. We got the whole host team here. We've got Hannah, Andy, and Dan, and of course myself. Hi. Hello. (laughs) And we're celebrating 23 years as a church. Yay. It's exciting. That's That's nuts. Very exciting. Our church can vote. Our church can vote. Yes. Yes. Okay. (laughs) Vote. <laughs> Sorry. Good, good segue. We also are excited to have a studio audience with us today here at the anniversary picnic. So we're really thankful for our church body and everything it's been. We have had one full year as a uh, as a, as a podcast. What wow. do y'all think about that? That's crazy. It went by so fast. It did I go by really we're fast. We're already here at a year. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it got. It doesn't seem like we've been doing it for a year. If no. you honestly, it seems like we've been doing it way less than that. But it, when you said it's fifty episodes, fifty episodes. Wow, that's a, a lot, lot of conversations. Yeah. We it's had some pretty. It's a lot of winning. People. Yeah, a lot of winning. Mm-hmm. We're doing good. Yeah. And now we're like at next level. I mean, look at all I know. these cameras <laughs> and how beautiful everything is. It's wonderful to see what the Lord's doing. Yeah, it's really great. Um. <laughs> I came on writing questions for the podcast and now wow. like Tanya is no. now having me host yeah oh. host the You've podcast done a smashing job hosting I, I think that's you do a great job smashing. smashing smashing I haven't caught on to the fact that we do video yet like it's really it's still new. you know what I mean like it's crazy that like, there's so much production going on in yeah. this that you just don't understand what it takes to make this work yeah right. and it's crazy humbling that this and is what people, we're doing the amount of people too it's the people thanks, behind the brad. scenes yes thanks brad <laughs> as always yeah. we're gonna add a beat of that with bob but <laughs> yeah right <laughs> it's uh it's crazy what goes on to make this stuff work and so that's it's such a blessing that this church does this and we get to have these conversations which was like the heart of it to begin with right. was right. we get to talk to our church is full of just unbelievable people yes. and it's so nice to have the conversations with them and there's still so have. many more i know like, <laughs> yeah, we that's barely, like by, it's such a cool thing yeah for sure we barely scratch the surface yeah mm-hmm. there's still a lot of people that we have left to invite on the show mm. a lot of people with some really great great stories um but none of this would have been possible without our pastor senior pastor justin bridges shout out us. should wow. we bring him on we yes. should bring him in we should okay. bring him on wow <laughs> i hope he's here <laughs> welcome oh welcome well, well, you're here Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What are the odds you're being here? Oh, man. <laughs> 18. What a segue. Well, man, this I didn't guy. know y'all you were doing this time. Oh, know, crazy. Gosh, <laughs> Lord's favor. <laughs> bless coming in. Bless going yeah, out. That's what I'm right, talking about. That's right. Uh. Besides celebrating our first year as a podcast, we have also are celebrating 23 years as a church. Yeah. What, is, what have those 20 plus years been like for you? Uh, fear and trembling. Um, <laughs> no, I'd say when I first started this, I mean, of course, I'd, I've been a part of the ministry since 1999. So I moved here come November 7th, uh, connected with Dr. Savelle for 25 years. Um, you know, so it's been, it's been quite the journey. Uh, even as I was preaching today, how God has the ability to connect the dots in our lives. And um, not knowing why you're doing what you're doing, um, why you're staying when... A lot of people are leaving, um, moving to places that were comfortable, to to like stepping into places where you don't know why you're there. I mean, you know, it's just in little steps along the way. Even living in Maryland, having an acre and a half of land, two-story home, and God says, you know, quit your job and move to Texas. And I ended up sharing a bedroom with another guy as a roommate, and I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> but not, no, not knowing the steps were to, to get me here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so how God has the ability to just connect the dots and, um, you know, for really his purpose. And, and so it's been amazing. So I uh, came over to the church as an associate minister in 2005. Um, before that, I was working in production, then developing the correspondence school, um, to then coming over as just an associate minister, most of 2006, but really 2006 into 2007, Dr. Savelle telling the congregation, look, I don't wear the mantle of a pastor, um, but I believe Justin does. And so I say fear and trembling because mm-hmm. I had to learn a lot about who I am. Uh, I had to learn about, a lot about leadership, I had to learn a lot about communication, yielding to the grace of God and, you know, never really training to, even though I went to Bible school, no one really says, this is how you pastor. Um, there's not really 
even though there's a lot of books out there, experience is, you don't know anything until you've had experience. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was, um, you know, learning, learning about myself as a leader, learning how to, um, I guess, I guess, um, really connect my life in a way to prepare myself for those things. Um, so anyway, it's just a lot of just different seasons of growth. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's some seasons of, of learning leadership. There's some seasons of just learning yourself. And, um, and so anyway, did you just grow and mature through the processes? So but anyway, it's, it's been amazing. Um, so I've really been to the church 21 years out of the, the 23. And, That's crazy. Wow. But, but yeah, so. We're glad you're here. <laughs> I'm glad we, you're here. We appreciate you here. <laughs> but I, I think we touched on it in service today. So if you haven't seen the service, you should go listen to it. But yeah. you really touched on I think the big thing about being the pastoral heart is really the obedience to the, the voice of the Father. You mm -hmm. know, like, not everyone's called to be a pastor. Yeah. <laughs> the grace you walk with, I do not have. Thank the Lord. You've got it. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's such a great thing when you know that the leader of the house is actively seeking after the Lord and being in obedience and those kind of things, which makes it so much easier for all of us to, to be plugged in and tuned in and receive because we know we're coming from a great source. Yeah been really good. I think if, if you were to put a definition to what a pastoral mantle is, I think you carry that. Mm -hmm. be like your Praise picture the in the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> like if pretty you good. want to know what an excellent pastor is, we've got, we've got one well, here for that's, sure. That, so. that, that's humbling. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, because um, I think in any area of life, when God tells you to do something, you still see necessarily the imperfections in your life. And you see kind of like, okay, God, can I do this? And, and then so, and really, I think if we ever come to a place where we're not trusting God where we are, mm -hmm. we're probably missing it. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's, it's maintaining that attitude of, God, I need you in this. And it wasn't just needing him just starting, but, you know, 20, what, 18 years later or 16 years later as pastoring, it's like, no, I need you more now than I did then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Gosh, yeah. yeah, so I think it's... It's just staying submitted to that. So, Well, we want to say from the Winning Conversations podcast team, thank you for leading our house well. Mm. Yes. yes. Thank you for believing in this, the podcast, and helping us launch our first year, yeah. helping us jump into year two. Um, and thank you for having fun with us. And Yeah. Well, I, I think, you know, anytime, you know, like I said, this was a lot on, you know, you and the team that came with the ideas. And... So for me, I just thought it was a just having a just a just a rest and a peace by the Holy Spirit of you know just you know for this season let them run with this and and just see where things go and uh, I think you have to just kind of walk through those processes and I think you know I'm 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 pleased with each one of you and you know um, yeah Andy Andy has you know a daughter to me and you know uh, <laughs> and. Uh, and Thank you. Yeah. It's like you guys are related. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're like a serious family. Yeah. <laughs> but really, all of you and just watching your your gifts come out, mm -hmm. and um, it's it's been awesome. And so I'm looking forward to the next season and looking how things evolve through the process of um, uh, of the uh, winning conversations uh, life. So yeah. we're excited. Like we're, I, season two is going to be. You're always excited. I, I am. I'm but you excited. just want to see yourself on camera. I'm enthusiastic. Right? I don't. That's so the part that's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know how you do it every Sunday. Yeah. It's like you do this every day. It's like, oh, it's, oh, it's nerve wracking. It really I know your, is. I know your heart, Daniel. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you ever worry about your mouth being open randomly for no reason? Like yeah. you're just like. Probably, probably, probably like, more, probably more like, is my zipper down? Oh, yeah. 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 It's it's the weirdest more. thing you think about when there's a camera rolling, it's so weird. I can't explain it to people. It's just a, yeah. it's a new experience. It changes it all. Yeah, you notice I haven't looked at the camera. So I'm, I'm, looking, <laughs> I'm giving you 100% focus, sir. Um, so I don't know if you know this or not. I know you do. I don't know if you know this or not, but we have an Instagram for the Winning Conversations podcast. Where you, like, and something that we're really actively aggressively want to engage with our audience on a lot of different levels um, especially when it comes to digital media we love the podcast that we have for the heritage of faith the the sermons the ministry there's so many options for people to listen and engage but we've created a space for the winning conversations podcast where we really want to spot like like shorts we want to spot like little clip video clips just you know things that really will hopefully impact and move someone's day forward mm -hmm. we just some uplifting content and so we actually do have a winning conversations podcast on instagram you can go check it out 
But the people on that platform actually asked a question. And I want you to answer it first. We're going to all answer it. Okay. But I was hoping while we have you here, if you could answer. Is that something you'll do? Uh, hey. Love it. <laughs> Love it. How you had no choice whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, uh, I thought you all were answering the question. We are. But while you're here, I really, it's, you know, what has been, we'll answer it differently. But yeah. so this first year, what has been your favorite part of the Winning Conversations platform as a pastor? I think um, just being more connected with the people that are part of this house. I think, so for me, and just hearing their stories, um, hearing where they came from, hearing the the challenges, but yet the breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in the process, seeing people's gifts come out. Um, so for me, it's just really just seeing, it's like, wow, that's, that's awesome that, you know, um, I didn't know that about that person yeah. or so, so for me, it was just the discovery of people within our house. I mm. think that was, that was it. And, and at the same time, you know, the process of someone's story does minister to someone else's story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think it's good. And I think, I think as people l listen to stories and whether as hostessing, ho hostessing, hosting. <laughs> um, we do restaurants. Hosting. Well. <laughs> you know, they, we're all servers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so, um, so anyway, just like hosting that, that it's even you being able to bring things around. So, so watching, like that's watching you guys grow and like someone saying something and then you having to bring the conversation back around or mm -hmm. some of those things. But, but I think, uh, I think it was, like I said, it was good. It was really good. And I think getting to know the people, I think was, is um, probably a highlight for me. Tanya, what do you think? Um, well, it's been a, a huge growth journey for me. I mean, I know that I had a dream about it and, and this was, this was something that was birthed out of, uh, you know, something that the Lord gave me. But watching us go from my laptop being open and pretending like yes. we knew what we were doing because oh, we, yeah. we didn't yes. for sure know what we were doing. video back then, that would have been the best. <laughs> yeah. That would have been the best. It's fun to see the progression, to learn these people's stories. I mean, they're just, um, there's just so much richness in our people. Mm -hmm. And until you get a chance to have the conversation with somebody, you really don't know what they walk through, what the Lord has brought them through. So mm -hmm. I have loved hearing these people's stories on a deeper level, more than we get passing them in church. Yeah. Yes. It's, been, it's been real fun. And I've really enjoyed this team. I think this team is um, top notch, like best in the church. And it keeps growing and we're, I'm, I'm just incredibly thankful for it. How about That's you, awesome. Anna? Um, to piggyback on everything you guys said, Terry and I came in here, we were like new, so we didn't know a ton of people. And in passing, you don't always get those stories like you were saying. And so I think I've really enjoyed just diving in deeper with the families here at the church and learning their background and learning their stories, like the joys, like Penny. Right. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness. I had no idea that was their testimony. I had no idea that was their story. So mm -hmm. I think that was definitely a favorite for me. The Frasers, which was absolutely that's, hilarious. Yeah, Even the wild episode. It was, wild episode. It, was so, <laughs> it was so rich and it was so good. So I think that's the same for me is just being able to get to know our peeper, peep, our peeper, our people, our people, our people. on a <laughs> deeper <laughs> level. <laughs> yeah. Um, has just been really special um, just to get to know them one-on-one -on -one. and even off the camera after talking about their testimonies and what they shared with us, just getting to have that conversation. So I think that's in my heart. That's where it's at. So that's good. what about you, Andy? I, I like hearing from the people who are like actively listening every week. Like Ooh, we'll get text messages right. from people who are like, I love today's episode. And I'm like, I didn't even know that you were listening all the, you know yeah. what I mean? You don't think about that. I mean, we get the text at 10 AM every Friday morning, yeah. but I don't, I guess you don't really know that people are actually listening all the time unless you go in and look at the numbers. But I love getting the messages like, man, that really touched me today. That episode was so good. I'm like, oh, thank did, you for listening. Yeah. Didn't one of you get something from like a, at a doctor's office, like a nurse or someone was watching the podcast? Yeah, was yeah. It you? I had a patient. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I think I've heard of that one. I'm like, really? <laughs> are you <laughs> sure? Like, I have doubted it. But we she had. Started. She pulled it up yeah. on YouTube and she had listened to wow. somebody had sent it. Somebody. That's, I think that's the coolest. It's incredible. Yeah. yeah. How about oh, you? Oh, you. Hey. Um, <laughs> so we were at the same Connect class, right? Yeah. I don't know if you remember oh, that. We sat at the same table. Were. So I met your husband, Terry, who's awesome. So my wife and I, we were at the same Connect class. And That's very funny. much in the same ballpark of we were new to this community, new to this church. For me, I was new to this style of ministry. Like I had come from a, you know, a West Coast style, which is a little bit different. <laughs> and like the West Coast West offense. Coast? What, you know, <laughs> um, if you can't tell, I don't look like I'm from here necessarily. However, um, we just fell in love with this community. And so the, the hearts of the leadership from the top down 
And then the part that when you mentioned it, like the idea of this, like, hey, we want to have conversations with people. I'm like, that would be how often you get to talk to people that you don't get to talk to. And that was what I thought would be the most amazing part is I get to be a fly on the wall of some of the most amazing conversations with amazing testimonies, with amazing people that I would never get the journey. I would never get the opportunity to do that. And so it became this amazing platform that as a someone I'm like, oh, my gosh, I get to be with. Larry Brazil, you know what I mean? Like some of these yeah. personalities and these testimonies that are just so powerful. Mm-hmm. And I'm just so blessed that we, that's, I am always just taken aback by how cool it is that we get to do this. I really do think it's amazing. I love it. It's great, it's great. Well, we also wanted to take a little bit of time because we have a lot of um, incredible fans and most of them live <laughs> in our household. <laughs> so uh, we are calling this part of the show uh, the peanut gallery because they all have questions for us. They have something they want to say it. or do. Bring so it on. Thank you, Pastor Justin. Thank for being you. Here. Thank, thank you. All, <laughs> all right. So which one of our friends is first? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. So could you so please, cute. could they introduce themselves, yeah. please? Can you oh. say your name? My name's May. Uh, I've been to this church. Uh, well, yeah, I came to this church when I was two. Nice. I might cry. Nice. I might and your, your dad, Brad, is our technical director. Yeah. And Thanks, your Brad. your mom is our visual director. <laughs> Sorry, Brad. She helps <laughs> us make look, look beautiful on camera, right? <laughs> yeah. So tell us, what, it, what did you want to ask us? Well, I wanted to ask, like, what was y'all's, like, uh, like sad, like, crying e- episode? <laughs> yeah, come on, Hannah. Which one did you cry at? <laughs> I this is the question. Okay. Wow. Uh, I can go first. Yes, please. I will go first. I think the one that just, like, pulled at my heartstrings the most was probably Tasha Powell's episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just know, it, like, hearing her story mm-hmm. and that in detail, it just, it, it pulled up my heartstrings. It was very sad and just beautiful, just a beautiful story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anna? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, so the joys was so great. That's why I brought them up earlier, too, because it was like such a, a testimony of how good God is in their lives, but there were some sad parts in it, too. Yeah. So it was awesome getting to hear from them and then hearing the victory side of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but yes, I liked theirs. That's such a good question, May. Thank you for asking. That's a good question. What about Dan? It's yeah. his turn. <laughs> um, so I would say. He cries I'll, a lot. I do. People don't get it. I'm very much. I would say the ones that I think impacted me the most. Um, I think obviously Tasha's yeah. was unbelievable. Um, Officer Shram's was unbelievable. That's another really unbelievable, good Unbelievable, right? Aww. Just. Like it set, it sits with me to this day. I think about that. Episode. I think about it all the time. That uh, one a yeah. lot. Um, I think um, I just forgot his name. I'm so sorry, Cowboy Preacher. I don't know Trey how, Johnson. Trey Johnson. and his wife. Yeah, that was like, Heather's. Such yeah, a great impacted that was a good my household and my my even my wife was commenting about how powerful that episode was, mm-hmm. and it's like those are the ones that like like wow, yeah. that's yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. those are crazy. Yeah. yeah, the one that I cried at. Like cried while filming was oh. with Miss Rashida Jackson, oh. and uh, Rashida. And she's she's a dear friend, but I also saw her heart in a really deep way. So yeah. that that episode means a lot to me, just because mm-hmm. she's such a precious person, and everything she said was very impactful. So great yeah. question. That is yeah. such a good yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. 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 Ready for the fan club? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> are, we, are we ready for the next? Peanut Who's gallery? the next one? Who's next? Who's next? This Thank is you, Meg. Lucas Flowers. Lucas yeah, Flowers. Literally from your household. <laughs> literally <laughs> from the house. The seed of, I, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How are you? Good. What's Good. your name? Lucas. And how old are you, Lucas? 13. Oh, wow. You look fantastic. Go you ahead. look so cool. All right. So like tell us face. what question do you have for us? Uh, what is y'all's favorite episode? Well, we've already said a bunch of those. But if I had to think of another one, it's probably going to be Larry Brazil's. I really liked his story. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to. Th- yeah. Larry Brazil was great. <laughs> My favorite episode. to this day, just because. It's always gonna be Pastor Danny Hill. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. Yes. It'll always because it's the first episode yeah. we ever did, and all of us were huddled around a laptop oh, yeah. with the like, we can just do a podcast on that. <laughs> just hit record. Yeah. There's what's, no way. What's, what's audio? What's it's audio so mean? Funny. You know, yeah. like in the like, bang on tables, and Brad was just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was so great because uh, it was just he knew something awesome had just happened, but he didn't know what it was. But we knew like the idea of what we were doing was like this is awesome yeah. that I was so one. fun okay. go for it joseph lemay yeah that was oh, a great yes. one. his he's lived such a wild life and i just think his story is so awesome and he's so humble 
So, I, yeah, I think his is really good. It's up there for me. How about you, Miss Hannah? Like What's yours, Hannah? <laughs> I believe I'm already at the joys. I just still really, I, know, yes. I, I still go back to that one over and over okay. again. So the the ups, the downs, the middles, the in-betweens, I just mm. really liked theirs. And it really made us get to know them a lot better. And the restoration. And Terry that. was like, I want to go to their Thrive Group. I mean, it was just, <laughs> yes. I don't get to go to Thrive groups because my Thrive Group is with my kiddos here at the Woo. church. So, um, but we really love them and appreciate them and all that they're doing. So mm. anyways. Very much so. But yes, all the stories have been great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. all yes. of the great. stories have been I, wonderful. I keep thinking about the couple series that we did where during February we had all the couples on. Mm -hmm. yes. Those were really impactful. All four or five or however many we had, they were incredible. So, Thank well, good I want to know what was your favorite episode? Oh yeah, Ooh. Uh, John Shrams. Yeah, Aww. John Shrams. Because mm, I like hearing about like my friends and stuff, and my friend is John Shrams' son. Should we bring him on? Well, that's it. Yeah, I that's think a nice we need a podcast there we go. Friends. Hold yeah. on, yeah. Let's bring him right. on. Is he here? I think we have him I here. I think Jaden Tram is here. <laughs> Jaden Tram. In the studio. Hello. 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 Bring us your questions. <laughs> How are you, um, Jaden? I'm good. You're good? Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> you my name is Jaden like Tram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tell. God. It's so crazy you, you have to look your dad. Um, I'm 12 years old. Nice. Um, I've been attending this church since I was one years old. So, um, so the awesome. 11 out of the 23 years <laughs> that's, I've been that's here. That's a good average. Yeah. That's a good number. Good number. Good. That's, that's good. a really good number. So, Jaden, do you have a question for us? Yes, I do. Um, out of all the podcasts that y'all have done, which one was the one where you got done? You were like, man, that one was like, I learned a lot of new things from that podcast. Oh, uh, that that Top Notch one. Carol Kings. So oh, yeah. Carol, oh, she oh, yeah. just Hers so yet. deep. She talked a lot about prayer. She has a heart for prayer. And it was, I walked away with a new appreciation for coming before God. That was a big one for me. Mm. Anybody else? Anybody else? I, I, it's going to sound yeah, personal. It's going to sound personal, but your dad's episode was yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, that was like, a good one. Like Tasha and your dad's in terms of just walking in faith. Like, in just absolutely not looking at what the world's showing you, not looking at what you see in front of you, but standing on his word are two of the most, I literally can tell you, I think about them all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, my faith is impacted because you're standing here talking to us. It's an absolute miracle. And yeah. so that, those are two episodes that absolutely will have, have marked me significantly. That's fantastic. Did everyone answer? I liked Carol King's too. I'm trying yeah. See, that's a good question. We've ha we've had a lot of episodes. I'm like going over it in my head. Fifty episodes. And if you haven't been mentioned in these episodes, you were really good too. Like those are really there's so many yeah. good episodes. Yeah. Like Joseph Fields was really good. I Fields love CJ's, like, CJ's too. CJ's I love sitting good. with CJ. CJ's was good. Yeah. The youth here at Heritage are yeah. <laughs> in good hands. Yeah, I liked CJ's. Perfect. And Danny awesome. Hill's faith journey, I think, was great. That was and crazy. How the Lord yeah. showed him and getting him here and just being a seer. I think it's Ashley. So Ashley's yes. Ashley. Yes. Ashley's. Oh, sweet episode. Yes. So sweet. That was a good one. High five. Great question. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, right. there are some people that we need to thank. And that it, besides pastors, we also need to say thank you to Nick Eaton, who okay. leads up this and helps Thanks, us, Nikki. covers us. So thank you to Nick Eaton, wherever she is. She's out probably helping probably get things. Probably serving somewhere. Yeah, yeah she's probably. serving. She's got her hands in everything. <laughs> yes. But the whole executive team has been on our show. They've all imparted great things to us. Um, and we have to say welcome to some new uh, team members. So we have, besides Brad... Um, Brad's team has grown to Trey and CJ and Bobby. In Woo! fact, everything you're seeing now would not yes. be possible with our expansive team that's growing. So, Amen. Um, Which is great. It's still so crazy. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys ready for season two? Yes. Yes. It's going to be great. So we're going to start off season two by having some conversations with our host team, with our team, getting to know everybody, just so you guys can get a feel for us as we jump into having these great conversations. Because I don't think we've told our stories in depth not yeah. no no yeah no not really no which is you know it's been nice to be on the other side right versus <laughs> be interviewed it's a little bit different it's yes a, it's a little it's a lot different, different there's no pressure on us right yeah. now it's all the pressures on the other side yeah. yeah so we turn yes. the table slightly yeah. 
turn the table slightly. We start off that, and then we have a whole lineup of guests that we're really excited about. So, mm-hmm. so next level guests. Story yes. Very good. Yes. So as always, we want to say thank you so much for everyone who is involved in this. For all the team members, we can't say thank you enough. But more importantly, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. If you're listening and watching, if you're watching, and again, <laughs> we have both options now because we progress it. Yeah. Right? So yeah. Uh, we're getting there. Um, our Instagram channel is doing great. So we just hope we can find you wherever you're at in your home, in your car wherever. We look forward to seeing you. So we hope to see you next Friday for another winning conversation.